Gigi squat. What a do, Gigi? Okay. One, two, Gigi family. Funny one, Mac, and I am back with another unboxing, unpackaging, whatever you want to call it. It cool with me. But anyway, squad, it's your girl, Funny One Mac, and I am back with another video today. And in today's video, your girl gonna be. Uh, shoot. I almost took my whole lash off. I think I did. You see by that thumbnail, you see by that title. I am going to be opening my package for the squad. Yep. All right, guys. Here's just what, what without further ado, we're going to get right into video okay okay yes y'all i'm gonna be opening this package it's a book that i ordered from amazon creativity oh y'all remember the little things that we used to When I pop a bubble, wow. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Let me stop before I break a limb. <laughs> Actually, I had the honors of working for her. Okay, guys, and when I say she's an awesome lady all around, she's an awesome lady all around. I'm not just saying it because she wrote a, a book, she, was, she illustrated, written, and published. A book. I'm not just saying it only because that. I'm just saying it from the heart that she really is a genuine, nice, creative woman. She has a lot of stuff going on, and in her busy little world, she made time to see your girl back. <sighs> Enough with that. Let's just get right into it. All right, y'all. Here is the book reveal. That's the wrong side. Hold up. And here is the book reveal. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Yup! Look! Boop! Okay, y'all, look, look, look. Alright, alright. <laughs> alright, y'all, let me stop playing. But, okay. This book is called The Movement, Historical Changes During the Pandemic Coloring Book. Bam! So this is actually an awesome gift all around for birthday, parties, Christmas, housewarming gifts, baby showers. You know, because, keyword, color book, meaning it's for all ages. As basically... This book tells about everything that happened in 2020. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Sorry, y'all. My hair. But, yeah. It says the moment. Historical changes during the pandemic. 
written and illustrated by Robin Lewis. And if you guys would like to know more about the author of this book, um, I guess I'll leave a link to her website in the description box. Yeah. So, and if you see the little pictures, how everything is just so... Oh, that's lit. That lit, that lit, that lit, that lit. Hey! Yeah. All right, well, let me, let, me, let me get into this. Let me get this because I'm tripping. All right. Ooh. And for all my football fans, who is that? That's right. His name is Colin Kaepernick. And if you guys are not familiar about him, get this book so you can get familiar. Because I'm telling you, historical events. And it's also great for children. You know, don't you want your children, your child, your kid, your kids. Don't you want them to know and just indulge in so much information about 2020? Like, this world has come a long way. I've been here for a long while. I've been here. Yeah. Been here since 85, and the world definitely has changed. So I think this would be a great book for kids to read and understand. And even color, you know, because sometimes you have to paint your own picture. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read a little short paragraph for you. It says, on September the 1st, 2016, Colin Kaepernick kneeled on the football field during the international uh, the national anthem to bring attention to racial inequality and police brutality. He kneeled specifically for the shooting's death of Mario Woods, a black man, age of 26, San Francisco. Mario was shot 20 times by the police while his actions may have inspired many and start a movement. He was shunned by the media and the NFL of Kaepernick was also banned from playing football. Now tell me, where do you see one lie? So guys, overall, this book is educational. This book is not here to steer anybody wrong. This book is purposely and was diligently, yeah, was made to inform people, to keep people informed, to just to let people know about this, this world that we live in. This book is facts and just so y'all can Understand, understand. Maybe some of y'all will go out and get y'all one for your kids. Y'all can read it so y'all kids are like for a bedtime story, you know? Because we don't know what they doing on virtual learning. Hmm. Yeah. But let's just move along to another page, okay? Okay. The second. The second page clearly says yeah <laughs> it's in the book I ain't said none of this it's in the book clearly last year was the world of the pandemic y'all know what that pandemic was but I'm gonna just go ahead and read aloud okay C-19 was identified in January of 2020. Hmm. C-19 is caused by a C-virus called by SARS-CoV-2. It is a virus that may start with flu-like symptoms. Some people say it's like having a cold, while others reported worse conditions. Ooh, scary. Some people say... Okay. Can you hear me? The virus is contracted by cough, sneeze, breathes, and can live on your countertop up to three 
days. I'll continue. Mm. Close contact with infected individuals have caused the virus to spread rapidly. Scientists are working aggressively to develop a vaccine. But as of today, January 16, 2020, only the symptoms can be treated. So guys, this book contains a lot of information that happened last year. Whew. Moving along. On February 23rd, a mob Aubrey, a 25-year-old black man was shot and killed while jogging in a South Georgia neighborhood. The two white men that killed Ahmad were not immediately arrested when it happened. The delayed investigation and the slow arrest of the suspects received national attention. And national means nationwide, big, bigger, humongous. A lot, a lot, million, billions of views. Okay. Ahmad was an innocent black man just doing what he loved to do, and that was run. So, guys, this book is very educational for kids. And it's also a coloring book. Like, you can actually color Ahmad. I think that's just so sweet and thoughtful. All right, guys. Here's another hot topic that's um, that broke the media, and it was just so sad to families all across the world. And this was Brianna Taylor. I'm pretty sure you guys remember what happened with Brianna Taylor. Tragic, sad, but let me just read it to you. On March 15, 2020, Brianna Taylor, a 26-year-old Unarmed black female was fatally shot at least eight times by police in her Louisville. Sorry, y'all. In her Louisville, Kentucky apartment. Brianna was a medical worker who also wanted to become a nurse. She loved helping people. Her death sparked protests in the United States and around the country. Yes, guys. Another historic event that went down in history when i say it went down it went down let me go to the next page um basically y'all know when the economy shut down work start shutting down then the kids had to go to school on the internet um during the pandemic, people went into a frenzy, stocking up on food, toilet paper, and cleaning supplies. They did. They did, though. They did. Like, you know, ain't never had cleaning supplies before. But let me finish. The lines were so long that, the sh that shopping at the grocery store took an extended amount of time. And it did. With a lie. Bleach. Toilet paper, we're not even going to speak about the toilet paper situation. Disinfectant spray, hand sanitizer, and paper towel were just a few essentials that were very hard to find. And she's not lying. She's not lying. They went crazy. Y'all did it, America. Y'all put America on the map, for real. Period. Which limited the quantity amount to one or two items per household. People were really afraid during this challenging time. And let me just show you how the picture. You like. Yeah, that was that was like really crazy. And me, I was not a part of that because I was fully stocked at home. Now I probably did go out and get some um whatever was left like it wasn't much stuff left it was like a tornado came in it was just like something from a movie all right so here's when the here's when it get juicy hey 
Here's when they get juicy. Ah, right, y'all, this this one to get juicy. In April of 2020. In April of 2020, during the pandemic, the United States government put funds in place that assisted the American people. You already know what I'm hitting for. Period. Period. And then I advise y'all to go out and get this book. Go get it. Go get the book. The government offered pandemic unemployment, which increased the unemployment payments to an additional $600 per week. Per, what a lie! Like, it's, this book is too real. It's like, y'all gotta go get this book. Like, cause I'm really enjoying this book, even though I knew what I knew. But this book is right here, it's just proof. It's just proof that what the world has become and someone put it in a book. And I'm not talking about a history textbook in school. That's history too. But this is like up to date history. Because if you guys know this or not, they don't update them history books in them kids' schools. Them kids still learning about them men when they rode on horses and stuff. They need to be knowing about 9 11. They need to be knowing about Breonna Taylor. They need to be knowing about Black Lives Matter and High DC. Put it on the A pavement. And then they also put it on the um in the street in my home. Well, not my hometown, but they also put it on the street right here in my city and town. So Black Lives Matter, don't play with us. Oh Decor falling. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, go ahead and get y'all one. Period. Okay. Stimulus payments of $1,200 per person were issued to working and non-working individuals and additional food stamps were given each month to help families with food. The government also extended the mortgage and pay rent payments for many months to prevent many people from losing their homes. That's period. But, unfortunately, um, they're not helping with the rent and, um, and uh, utility bills no more. That stopped, I think, that stopped last year at the end of last year so that's no more but this book is still a fact period and y'all want look look this Damn, y'all already know. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd was videotaped laying on the ground with a knee to his neck for eight minutes by an officer. By an officer on duty. Period. And, and if y'all guys don't keep up with the media and the news, your boy just got found guilty. Uh, I guess they're going to wait for sentencing. But your boy just been found guilty and, um, yeah. And justice was really served. Justice was really served. And soon as, I find it odd and awkward that soon as he got sentenced, a police went out and killed another, um, black female. But, um, I'm not going to talk, talk too much about that story because that is kind of touching and, is a lot of people that have their own opinion and their own views and I don't want any negative comments or any, you know, I believe what I believe. So that's why I'm going to just keep that situation to myself. And if I do decide to make a video about it, I will. But that was just a sad situation, guys. All right. His death ignited a massive movement across the country against systematic racism. And police brutality. 
it was just going off and y'all do remember the george floyd situation how people was looting it was just so much freaking stuff going on okay guys so um oh it says police brutality i can't breathe no mask no service no entrance um covid 19 business closed due to covid economy shut down social distance brianna taylor in racism frustration no parties no gatherings <laughs> no jobs foreclosures anger fear and money and all of that while coming from a African Americans man's mouth only because of what someone else did to a brother of ours. But guys, that's that is some of the stuff that's in this book. Um, yeah, I really recommend you guys to go get it. Like I said, it's educational for your kids. It'll it'd be a great Christmas gift, a great housewoman gift, um, a great bedtime story book you know and overall it is a coloring book so like i said guys you paint your own picture you go through it how you want to go through it okay um, shout out to you robert lewis for putting something positive out but overall this is a good book educational perfect for kids and i hope you guys no 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 i do want to do want to say though um I was thinking about having like a, a story time a week or something about, you know, just chapters out the book or whatever. It's not many pages, but what I highly recommend is for you guys to go get your book, order you one, great for kids, great for adults, great for grannies, great for pop-ups, it's great for everyone. So, my light just went out. I guess the brandy died, so I guess I'm going to end this video here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends, okay? And get you one. Yeah. Get you one.